Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. New bees turn to ban. Radiant team ban. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to our New second game of what pick. could be a quick start to the day here in the winner's brackets. LGD Forever Young taking on newbie. Radiant Draft, as you saw, pick. is already underway. We waste no time. We get into it right now. I was really hoping Lumi would do a voiceover for, like, the bicycle in the cups. Yeah, what was, what was with the bicycle? I don't know. That was a bicycle for like a mount or something. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was like something that you would see on like the Home Ten Improvement Network or the Home me. Shopping Channel or something. It's like, I was going to buy that. I don't know. With the right advertising, that's why I was hoping Lumi could do a good voiceover. And you think Lumi's the guy to provide that advertising? Yeah, look at that right there. Look at that beautiful yellow bike. Oh, 1999. You got <laughs> yellow bike. What about the tea set? It's you, pretty... China, you drink tea. I would not buy your tea. Go thing. buy. That's it, huh? That's all you got. Yeah, that's pretty awful. They're covering her leg. Please. Can you like, keep you, you know keep <laughs> yourself together here, Lomi? We're trying to talk about Dota. I think your theory is correct, but we will move on. Okay, let's move on. Radiant team pick. <laughs> Newbie, get what is there. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Who, me? No, not you. <laughs> Definitely not you, Ben. I have stuff wrong with me. What are you trying to say? I can't you, have thrown with yeah, me. But you're good at hiding that on broadcast. You were saying yesterday that we had like a Ben from an alternate universe. Bizarro Ben, yeah. That's like saying, what's wrong with you, Ben? Are you saying that you're Bizarro Lumi? Like the normal Ten Lumi's not a sir, but you are? I think I'm Bizarro in all, all timelines. <laughs> no matter <laughs> which timeline I'm in. It's just which particular flavor of Bizarro we get. Alright, so that's why it has Ran Shaker in the fourth, fourth position, which is, I guess, rare these days. Normally, it's always seen as a three. So, we don't know for sure if this is a off or in flame. This is uh, a lot more of a KP hero if they want to run it. Obviously, Kaka is also a fantastic Sand King, so. I love the choice. Good, Good safe seeing. opening. We're not going to see the DDC AA, uh, Oracle anymore with its AA pickup. Feels bad. Yeah, it does a little bit. So why did they ban DP so early? Did they ban it last game too? Did they ban it first phase? I don't think so. I why I'd love to play D DP. I think that's one of their most picked hero nowadays. But do they like first phase it? Mm, no. I thought they'd ban it after like the Oracle got picked. Well, Oracle was only good because they had these big team fight ultimates that were apparently only good at bursting down one or two heroes. Right, because they can't find him. And they couldn't get him. Yeah. But Sand King can get in the back line. I think that's already a big step up. Mm -hmm. Like, he can burst on the Oracle very quickly. Either hey. a four or a There's eight. another good hero to snipe an Oracle. I mean, not you don't want to draft your whole lineup around something that hasn't even been picked, but... How about that Visage? How will Newbie run it? We saw the Jerex Visage. We also saw the No-Tail Visage. Zero Visage in new games. Hmm. In this tournament, at least. In this tournament, he's 2-1. and one. Five seconds, It's pretty good for... AA hey, 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 actually can't really do anything yep. about this. It's awful. Reserve time. Bad feeling. Even if you try and spit push, birds come at you. This is the hero I need to learn next for support. I feel like you New could get some easy cheese wins ban. with it. Easy cheesy. Push. You can uh, snipe supports on the back. <sighs> Tanky. What does it mean when the ring's on the middle finger? Is that like symbolic for anything? It's the most efficient finger. <laughs> <laughs> this is my crowning finger. <laughs> oh god. So basically nothing. Maybe it's just decorative, but it, you don't want to signify that you're married. Yeah. Accidentally. You know, I could look this remaining. up. Ring on middle finger. Reserve time. 
If the idea of a pinky ring weirds you out and you don't want any confusion with wedding slash engagement symbolism, the middle finger is a safe default. Because of its central location, the middle finger is held to symbolize structure, balance, conscience, and order, and is associated with Saturn. And super straight children. <laughs> Thank you for that. He's like, get me out of here. <laughs> I am so done with this match. It's like, God, another DK game? Are they going to become DK again? <laughs> I actually would not be surprised. Time. Yeah. I, I would love to just like, please like put a caption on this. What is super thinking right now? <laughs> I mm, swear to God. God <laughs> He's, uh, you're having so much fun with this. Oh, I mean, he started eating his shirt right when I said put a caption on oh, wow. it. So. <laughs> hey, what happened to this hero? To Bristleback, one of the best heroes of Killing Familiars. I yep. Think actually, Visitor's very bad versus Bristle. For sure. For sure. For sure. And you get your uh, cloak taken down simultaneously. Mm hmm. Ten seconds remaining. Some would say it's a straight up counter. Hard Five counter. Five seconds remaining. Supposedly. Supposedly. It's, it's a Supposedly. 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 Reserve time. <laughs> say that three times fast. No. <laughs> Who knows what words might come out by the third time? So, I guess we've seen a lot of uh, LC as like, like a bristle counter. Do you even think it's a bristle counter? I mean, not. I, I don't really. Sven's the big one. Yeah, Sven's very common. I think LC is somewhat common, but not amazing. LC's yeah. like, then you still need someone else to like help deal with them. Sometimes the Sven can just kill him on his own. The Minus Moogie. armor, let's go. Who was it that had the big Weaver performance yesterday? Was it Monet Moogie. or was it Moogie? Moogie. Are you sure? Um, fairly I'm, sure. I remember one of them had a good one and the other one was not good. Bloodseeker. Oh, the Bristle Moogie's Bloodseeker duo. Oh, you mean Moogie, where he had 27 kills? That's Moogie. That's U. Okay, yeah. U9 is. <laughs> you're right, you're right, you're right. Newbie's Moogie. Oh, but this is a counter, right? The Bloodseeker? Bloodseeker Bristle combo? Mm. No, no, Bloodseeker are like making uh, the Weaver's life hard. Yeah, a little bit. Five seconds remaining. Yeah, the Bloodseeker Bristle duo is really nice as well. Just Slava. Blood Rage them up, farm those ancients, just be full Radiant HP afterwards. What do you guys think about Bloodseeker as a hero? Because we've seen a lot of different teams play it in vastly different styles as well. I think the hero's like super volatile. Like, because of. <laughs> Of the forty percent blood rage, like the, if played correctly, you can do so much damage. But if played incorrectly, you could just die in like half a Five second. So feast, very feast and famine. Yes, but even more so than normal feast or famine hero. So if we have a superlative to feast time. and a superlative famine, that would be blood. <laughs> this is the hundred ten percent kill rate of heroes. Okay. Yeah, but not always in a good way. Hundred ten or negative ten percent mm. kill rate. Yeah, I don't know. The Bloodseeker, like, I haven't really seen a game, maybe it's just sample size thing, where he's mm. had a big impact. Like, his biggest impact I've seen is basically blood raging his bristleback and helping him farm ancients early. Like, that's been the extent of what I've seen where I'm like, wow, Bloodseeker's doing a lot of work. Coming TI, we're going to see some uh, QO Bloodseeker from Fnatic. They used it in the, to qualify. And his Bloodseeker was... Does like, he do anything special? Phase Midas BKB to Radiance. Oh, he goes ready. And then he gets it in like 25 minutes and he just like runs at the team. Newbies. So interesting. That's the most successful Bloodseeker I've seen. It is a very QO hero. So we've seen a few ways to deal with the Bristleback. This is the more offensive approach with the heavy minus armor from the Weaver and the Slaughter. So normally he's very difficult to kill because yeah. he builds Solar Crest plus Halberd. Dazzle is definitely. Uh, you need a mid though. hero to think about, but. Oh, yeah, for LFY? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Five we don't know if it's going to be Mune Bristle. Of or sorry, um, offlane missile. What? So newbie could be a support shaker, I guess. Still. Mm -hmm. mm. Tried and true, Queen of Pain, decent first blood seeker. You can blink out of that rupture range. Lincoln's builder. Don't you have to like perfectly execute it? Cuts. Yeah, you just blink at max. Ten range. seconds yeah. remaining. I've heard that you need to walk Five first and remaining. then blink. Because the damage ratio of blood rate, uh, rupture is thirteen hundred, and the blink is also thirteen hundred. Is it thirteen hundred? A little smaller. You have to take like at least a one unit step. Yeah, you need to like walk mm. a tiny bit, or at least you used to, and then you blink. I'll double check. 
All right, well, I mean, what do you want to see for LFY? I have no idea whether this is like mid Bloodseeker or safe lane Bloodseeker or mid Bristle, so it, it's... it's... Yeah, it is 1300. You get the 8 there lens, so you can max blink. I'm pretty sure no you mistake. can do the, the step before or after the blink, though, because mm. there's just like an interval. It's just one it of checks. those things that if you just mess up in the middle of a tie and you go for that and you just get. You feel like a dodo real shred. quick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think this is a safe lane Blast Seeker and awful Bristle, so. I made for. Is this like a good storm game for Super? Oh, it's a good DK game. <laughs> oh, he's a good. Oh wait, DK's banned. <laughs> oh, I was thinking Bloodseeker Zeus earlier because I'm like, that's the only time where I've really felt the Bloodseeker. Offlane Zeus. But it's an inflame offlane Zeus. There's oh. a lot of heroes to like dive this Zeus. Dude, Zeus owns Weaver and Sand King. Zeus especially owns Weaver. Like the the invis is actually look, it's terrible to play. I'm against. just worried about his laning phase though. Like I don't, I don't think he's. Okay, gonna... Did you see his laning phase last game? And then he came back. It's all about the team play, Lumi. Alright. The team play. They're diving him, DDC's getting his thing going. He's got a decent frontliner with the Bristle. It's always important when you're Zeus. Even the Bloodseeker. Like, anyone to tank for you. Yeah, I am, I'm a little bit worried for him, though. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how There's some good that. gap closing. He also can't do anything for his Fist of Birds. Bird problem. Ten Bird seconds problem. You got Bristle for that. Yeah. It's it, Bristle it is cool counter that, everything. It is cool that Five when Zeus presses remaining. ult, like the nitro boost for that blood seeker, he now just flies. <laughs> right? Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes, like straight into the waiting arms of a slithering crush and a maybe or a strike and instant death. We you can't stop the goal of the mushroom. Yeah. Maybe Shaker Sh here first. Shaker spend the first fissure on the top lane to help the Zeus. Definitely. Looks like he needs that. Could they aggro? Let's see off lane for the other side. We uh, have a Slardar. Ooh, position three yeah. Slardar. I have not seen that in a pretty long time. This is. I, I think the KP Slardar is one of his like legendary. Heroes. Yeah, best heroes. So, not really for the patch, but for the player. All right. Welcome to game two, everybody. All eyes on Inflame, at least for me. Prepare. All two of my eyes on Inflame. All four of mine on Inflame. <laughs> Married. I'm the only person in my family that doesn't need glasses. Five family members who do. You're lucky. Yeah. I think my right eye is going, but my left eye is still strong. That is quite very questionable. What does that, that, that mean? That means you're looking at monitor from an angle when you have a... Uh, Oh, you like turn your head a little bit? Yeah. <laughs> or like your monitor's not placed precisely in front of you. Huh? Are like you straight, straight optometrist? No, that's what because I have one eye that's like worse than the other. Okay. And my doctor says Which eye is your stronger eye? My right eye is worse. So my left eye is stronger. Is it common for one like eye or the other to be worse? Uh I'm actually quite curious. I'm not sure. I imagine it should be pretty common because sometimes people don't have the monitor like correctly facing. Or straight. Wait, why do you why do you keep on bringing up the monitor? The monitor doesn't like damage your eyes directly, or just like looking at things for a long time damages your eye, right? Huh? You think like staring at your monitor like permanently? No, hurts like your for vision? a very long time. Doesn't that like strain your eyes? Yeah, that's like temporary. You like go rest and then you're fine. Meanwhile, my unstrained eye clearly sees that Monet has been killed. That is an old wives' tale, Lumi. I'm, I'm very confident that staring at monitors does not cause a permanent vision loss. Temporary damage, perhaps. I'm, I'm just talking about nearsighted and stuff. I always love the amount of traps that I keep seeing for uh, First Blood. They're just seemingly unending possibilities. You have nothing to contribute, Ben, to this vision discussion. Well, I don't have glasses. Ben is the only, <laughs> the only Asian person Ever. That in the have history glasses. of the world. Yeah, that doesn't have glasses, so... He's like, I'm, I'm cool. But this is a 1v1 Zeus that hasn't gotten to lane yet, because he's keyboard. Oh! Alright. Well played, sir. Well played. He's got the boots. 
is so missing a lot. They were thinking about aggroing, but after Monet saw that there were three heroes down there, he decided to go back up. Bloodseeker is very weak early levels. He needs, I would say, maybe like four to actually be ready to fight. Unless it's a three-on-one situation, which he's perfectly okay. But in the lane where he's contested, he's very weak until those later levels. Oh, that's scary little lane for Zeus. Once they get level two. That's why he's just chilling. I want a Super Mario sound pack for Zeus. Ding. Yeah. Every time you get last hit, it's like, boing! Wow, he's played Zeus a lot. 40... Four eight nine three seven zero gold spec. Actually, that's not that many. It's not that much. Dyer's middle tower. Nice courier snipe. Quap did uh, blink in for that. Getting punished by the old quill spray though. Super with the revenge quills. Oh, baited out. That last mistake. Oh. Meanwhile, bottom lane. Second kill for newbie. Hit level two and just charge right in. I think once Slaughter has a movement uh, advantage by picking boots and stuff like that, I think Zeus just loses the 1v1, one one, right? Oh, I think they should just 2-1-2, two, 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 though. I think, uh, I don't know who would be down there. Probably the, the Shaker. Shaker. I would say, yeah, Shaker should help. Shaker roam between mid and bottom. Well, you can't do that much versus Queen of Pain. I think that's the Shaker's problem this game. There's no lane that he can go to to have an impact. What, you just help out the, help out the bottom lane. Make sure that Zeus gets levels. Zeus without levels is useless. And he is exactly what's Zeus who falls behind is, oh, okay. I mean, he misses the crush, but I think that his job is like done, right? Like what is Zeus here? Arc lightning for some creeps and gets what, zoned out. What is Zeus? Absorb some pressure. Oh, Kaga coming in from behind. This could be really bad for him. Flame again. The feed may continue. I mean, it's the same Zeus on the two, 2v1. It's not fair, mate. Now Mookie's even coming in. They're going to try lane the poor little bugger. Iron Talon coming out for you, sir. Maybe even throw Super down there? Mm, that's not worth it. Well, one thing that is worth is getting a stick in this game. Oh Radiant's my goodness. First Bristle and Zeus, the dream stick game. I wonder if like, the, the feet games were Zeus for like, way to lane it. Uh, uh, in the bottom lane, oh. mid Zeus versus... I actually think that's the right play for them. That's Radiant's bottom no, tower is under attack. This is interesting for newbie. It kind of looked like they're gonna lay it off. They're just leaving to the top, camping on the bottom with a full trilon, looking to maybe drag the wave out so they can quickly take down this tier one tower and get some map control. Oh, why not? Really making a response to this? Just a, a homeless Zeus, oboing his way through the river, trying to find a, a little corner to crawl into. First god of Olympia, now a hobo. Yeah, for Im immortality, he gave he gave <laughs> up immortality for this, you know. Sad oh, got he, him! He gave up immortality to D Ward. <laughs> that's that's what Inflame did. Actually, like playing a uh, support Zeus, you just like the first minute of the game, just walk around the whole map, boom, boom, just going down. Afu, in a little bit of trouble. There are three heroes there. They want to dive in, but they also just want to pressure this tower. Huh? He, he doesn't have TP. And here no comes in flame, wrapping around for the level two gank. He's ready to go. Never mind. He's going to pull oh. again. Oh, oh. sees the ward. What a player. Three bolts. God Four of bolts, three D wards. Yep. God of the ward. Oh, yeah. This one's going to do be done with the auto attack. Oh. It's on the Dukes. The skin hit him, too. Ow. Where is he? Where is he? It was actually his long term plan to sacrifice a zoo so that he could get into the dome. Okay. Okay, so he's almost got a soul right now. He's looking up, boys. This is the lane that you want, though. I think Zeus is shaking. Crazy lot of distance between the. Should they, have, like, should they have committed to this weird, like, tower pressure tri lane with two cores? They thought they'd get a lot of kills out of it. If Afu didn't have uh, those tango eating tricks, then it, it would have worked. Kaka, perhaps going for a kill, just waiting for Super to turn around. He's got some stick charges, not a whole lot, but the quills are stacking up. S triple C blinking into the front. Well positioned, we'll find the kill. Yeah, not even worth sticking there, perhaps. No, the clarity, Zeus, why? There's a little ancient stack being built up already. Oh yeah, they can. That's that's how they can come back. How many 
actually what it takes for you to echo a creep. Depends on your level. Look, of echo. you see this deck right here, to the on the top lane, that large camp. Depends on your aftershock. Depends if you get that plus forty echo damage talent. That's a twenty. Dude. I don't there's think a lot think of. <laughs> there's a lot of variables. If you have a, quint a, qu a quintuple stack there, at forty minutes. Things are going well for you. Running into three heroes, and they're all running away. All Zeus is out of here. DDC. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Mm. DDC's like, give me something to try. Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh, bounty rune steal. Got what him. up? The body block BM. Actually, Queen could just scream them, just like sign of dominance. Oh, Kaka had a set of sentry, yeah. There's a car fault, too. It would be pretty Wo Dota if you just killed them straight in from Invis, you know? I remember when Wo Dota was a thing. Is Wo Dota still around? Yeah. It's not the same anymore. We are electric, which is so iconic. Oh. I actually went back to watch some of those old, like, top clips, and just Radiant by today's standard, just, you know. There's a few ones that have stood the test of time, like the Helm of the Dominator. So oh, that trick. is. That might be the, like, sixth next level play in the history of Dota, to be honest. Especially given how, like, undiscovered the game was back then. I seen one uh, on Reddit the other day what, that was, like, just blew my mind. It was mid one, like, getting ganked by two different heroes, and he just... He was playing Invoker, he cycled through three spells the millisecond before the stun or something like that. I was like, what? A little Raptor play here on Mookie. Tries to boogie his way out of there. Walking right into Monet now, tanking the Fissure. Down he goes. Getting Zeus back into the game, making him forget. Oh, oh sorry, Bumble. Monet gets brought down. A little bolt, not very effective as Triple C with the raindrops. Continue pursuit. He doesn't do the math. Could TP out. This just wants to stick around. Oh! Alright. Oh, Every time I move this camera, that's triple C goes deeper. That is the rare photo to right there on the bottom. Saved multiple people. <laughs> is the computer on? He's like he's shackled to the, his fountain loom. No, he's visiting the fountain and then he's he's out. That is the true prison. Isn't it the release spin? That is very, very dark. <laughs> I mean, if you believe in the afterlife, it could be the start of something amazing. Okay, true, 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 true. Jeez, why you gotta be so soon? But for Zeus, he oh, would go to the underworld. Zeus. That's so it's pretty dark. Yeah. <laughs> afterlife? For oh, what? another ward in play with the plays! Another quad one. Is this four or five? It's a quad. Uh, four. Right, let's well, count it. He did. DDC did waste the sentry though. Oh god. That's DDC's fault. Oh, that that juicy know. creep, gold, the skeleton party, has begun. Get in position. They don't know it's happening, but they're moving in. They want to taste that the supers coming through. Oh my god. Uh, give me those creeps. Now they change that triple C. It? He gets aggressive, and now they see this. They want Ward God. Can they catch him out? to the rescue. Save the little man. Save your lightning god. No, he will die. So they'll get revenge. And now they will fit as well. A one for one thus far. Draco's are up. The ugly yeah. stone bird. <laughs> okay, man. I want to see if the fight really goes. Really really I'll TP in a mid. No, in flame, not again. He tries for the jukes. He's got the lightning bolt as the stick. He is. Radiance middle tower is under oh, attack. What time is the fire cap? Uh, uh, it was like six minutes. Dyer's <laughs> Something regen. like the double zone number. Interesting. Haste! Did it over double his mana regeneration, but he two mana regen talent. But typically, you see the screen. Oh! Oh! oh, oh, God. God. oh. That's sick. Ruptured, runs into the neutrals, manages to time it and place himself just right. That was some AP the, calculus. The neutral deny. Event placement calculus. That was definitely BC. That was that was not AP calc AB. Yeah, that was BC. That was 800 on the SATs. That was 100. Dank. 100 dank. <laughs> Agreed.
Uh oh, Super. Super's a a thinking he's double. a big boy, but I'm not so sure about that. KP comes in, gets up the crush. See you later now, squirming out. And away they commit the epicenter for this. Turns his back though, gets off those extra quills. It is insufficient damage. They require more. Look at Monet in the meanwhile. Dude, speed racer and they were so low up top. He had like <laughs> almost like what 800 moves speed there. This guy's jetting around. Were you going for a uh, a pylon reference? Was I? I felt a little bit you know, insufficient. Yeah, I was, was a little, yeah. little okay. taste of StarCraft. You know. Brew Wars, the original eSports. We require more best speed gas. Hey, when is WarCraft 4 coming out? Is there such thing? Is that announced? I mean, surely there is. When has Blizzard ever stopped a franchise? I mean, they re released some new stuff you know, recently. Like, I, they've they've never had a franchise that they've retired, right? StarCraft, Warcraft, Diablo. Yeah. I guess they retired Lost Vikings. Uh, SNES game, I believe. Here they go on the mid lane on Kaka. And Scorpion has been served for dead. But this Zeus is uh, not a Phoenix game, guys. One and six. It's okay, he's offline. Doesn't matter. You press R, boom, give. Oh, he's not level six yet. Well, yeah. When you're level six, you press R, boom, and then your blood secret goes he's crazy. He's got less level than the five position AA. Okay, though. Yeah. I believe in Zeus. How good you guys uh, rate Zeus's talents? Uh, um, a 21. Uh, Dang, the point. Five seconds. Oh, oh, rupture of Nibbit, the combo of the tree. Fancy totem now to return to get those quilt stack up. The damage has been done. New VR getting rounded here. And the little man manages to get involved, did throw out that Thunder God Wrath. Make it three. That's Triple C just Radiance chilling up. Mid lane, he will get a tower as the trigger. Middle tower has fallen. What do you get, Ben? At 10, Dyer's Zeus. 10? Depends. I'm a big fan of the movement speed. Movement speed's pretty good, but... Yeah. It's in I mean, you can make a case for both. Obviously, mana regen is always yeah. good for Zeus. He has Tranquil, so probably, he probably needs to be mana regen. It, it's really nice when you go, like, soul ring Tranquils, and you get the movement speed. You just, as a support, even. Like, you just zip in the back line, you have... Please, Tranquil boot, pleb. You are not worthy to play to the high deity. <laughs> <laughs> But I mean, man, Tranquil Boots is ben is only half trolling. I'm playing as a four or five, right? Yeah. So I don't have to. Yes. Zeus is a one, always a one. <laughs> Zeus is a one. I mean, just Numbers the other day, mean nothing to the Lord of Olympus. Just the other day, Ben, you said you don't think he's a good two anymore. So, oh yeah, he's a three. Yeah, but he took a few because he's motherfucking Zeus, man. Only because I three mean. is the most divine number of them all. I'm just saying, in flame right now is in Greek lore a true peasant. What does he, you know, Okay, we'll see damage done at the end of the game. We see who the pet. Okay, well Zeus doing damage. Oh wow, that isn't that the sign of a true deity? You can do damage despite having nothing. Are you one of those? Are you one of those Smurf MMR farmers, Ben? Just racking up your Zeus damage stats. That got that, that high placement. Time, like. Wouldn't surprise me if you were abusing it. Please, I don't Smurf. The only time I Smurf is when I miss a Q somehow. <laughs> I have five minutes to The play. rage, Smurf. <laughs> you switch account. You switch account. <laughs> can't wait five minutes while you're playing Clash of Clan and Hearthstone oh. at the same time. KP, KP is done. Yeah. This Bloodseeker kind of seems like he's left unchecked. Like, you need to be able to pressure the Bloodseeker. He has Blood Rage on him constantly, but... Well, he's got the blessing of a god whenever it's used ults. You know? Yeah. Bloodseeker just goes hands. How do you mess with that? You can't. You can't. I mean, newbie, I correctly identified that they need to shut down the Zeus. You, the, that's the thing about Zeus. It doesn't matter if you shut him down. He still does damage. You just press R. Right. Got him. Got Can't him. press R if you're dead. Well, the thing is, if you keep him down, he has such a little respawn timer that he's not really dead. Is this why you can't seven, put in the fountain? The Bone 7 suppress my level strat. <laughs> Legendary Clockwork performance level 10 by like 40 minutes. That's... The original on tablet. Yeah, but Seven is coaching now, right? No, no, he was coaching. He was coaching. What's he doing now? Is he playing? I don't know. I don't think so. I haven't seen the qualifiers. I missed Bone Seven. I'm pretty sure Ampy is first. They have to 
Get the old bit yeah. back if they want to have a chance of doing it. Oh, they're on way to TI. They have Stan King as their coach. Yeah, that's the curse. For maximum suffering, you have to get to TI maximum and then fail first. You can't truly suffer unless you taste victory and you think you have it in you. I think Envy has gone through enough suffering for multiple though, lifetime. Well, I mean, I, I think there are a lot of fans out there who are anti-fans who would like to differ. I mean, as an Envy fan for multiple years, <laughs> the suffering is real. But you think <laughs> that is. The question is, what are the anti-fans <laughs> What are they, they, they blink on Kaka? A blink on Kaka, they can't present on Blood Seeker. They can't present on Blood Seeker to get mowed down after. Oh, they're they're looking for the well. leap here in the mid lane. The massive nuke damage comes out. Easy blip now kill. Monet is popping off, and all of a sudden, it's feeling like a real Blood Seeker. Blood Seeker also extremely good for Roshan. But those birds are causing a little bit of trouble, but without any blimp daggers, actually just one on the Slordar is looking no bueno. Kaka's close, but not that yeah. Ooh, he's going for Axe. I like this. Dude, the Axe is so incredible. Yeah, I mean, good against both... Uh, you, you want to ult on Quap and Weaver, right? So Slaughter, I think, is good, too. Sure. He's in position 3 this game. I think he's totally worth it. Sprint, plus the Amplified Damage, plus faster moves. Yeah. Oh my god, what a waste of an ability. Oh, if you they're setting up on the bottom lane. Bloodseeker rally. Yes. Strike oh. Weaver comes in, but he will get Baited. caught there by the crush. Has the blade now. Newbie hesitating on this maneuver simultaneously, though the Ice Blast comes through. Zeus arrives a second later. There's the Echo, and Newbie are on the run just like that. Cutting them off is a very fierce ancient apparition. Faith trying to flop away. Back to the safe embrace of the Queen of Pain, who is abandoning him in his moment of need. As Triple C loves the creeps more than his precious faith. They actually can't get close to LFY. That's a veil for the Zeus. He's back in it. No one can run up to them. And that was a good blood, uh, blade mail pop. Yep, by blood. I don't think it would have mattered that much, but it just quite so much. Well, I, I think they hesitate to kill him because it just maybe yeah. it feels like, oh, we should just commit to this. I was asking you guys how you felt about the uh, Aegis Blood Spears the Bristle. Man, I'm... He's not going to be done. And I think Bulger is more important to at least this in a whole Yeah. I think if you see Alphi trying to go up to high ground, it, it makes more sense to give the Aegis the bless of the uh, the yeah. Bristol back. Because he's the one that's gonna be ultimately hitting the building and tanking most of the stuff. Well, with a couple items nearly under the belt, Kaka one hundred gold away from Blink Dagger and very soon the link is on a weaver, perhaps they can escape the IT clutches. Of LFY. That was a vivid little image there. I don't. This is. This is really scary. Yeah, blood mixed with lightning mixed with ice. You mean oil? Because that's in China. Sound, that sounds like a very dark ritual. Is he? Was her best one to only yeah. be at the bottomless pit. The uh, patrol, patrol him, seeker in China. Patrol him, seeker. Yeah. Are you serious? That's awesome. <laughs> right? It's just a black. <laughs> brown. That was okay. Uh, skeleton. <laughs> Yo. Gotta please before him. The back <laughs> He's uh, the Arcana winner, so we can see some <laughs> sweet, sweet petroleum secret cosmetics. <laughs> I can't get over it. It's amazing. Okay, Kaka has blink. He's good. But is he gonna eat this? Ooh, ooh. Oh, not those jukes. Those moves. It's beautiful. They do find Mr. Moogie. He tries to jump in, he gets punished again. The Bloodseeker is that just always silence ready! Is obnoxious. Six second silence is... It's that like with the Fissure, because they just catch him from so far away. Yeah, this is... Uh, that combo. No, the chicken! Von Yin Fox? Oh. Did it deliver his item? No, I don't. Oh, you did it. Yeah. Rupture that bird in rage. <laughs> Show him what's <laughs> up. Hold on. It's the thought that counts. Oh, but like, actually changing his build, going for the shadow blade. Shadow okay. blade. And he's silver edge. Shadow blade. Does he need silver edge? I I don't know what the shadow blade's for. I also don't know what the shadow blade's for. Silver edge. Grave keepers. Uh oh, this man just wanted to cut the creeps. Okay. He's gonna cut and run, but he ain't getting very far. With A and Zeus, it's. It was super easy for Bloodseeker to run people down. Yeah, maybe that's the plan. Instead of playing more old plays. Oh, 
on this thing, but you can see another easy opening. The net worth is actually still pretty close, though. Quap's still keeping up the farm. She hasn't died in a very long time. However, she did go for a very aggressive orchid build. He's under attack! Oh, they just narrowly The Zeus jukes. That. He didn't even need move with Zeus. Yeah, just need the wily wit of Lord of Olympus. He is loud. Dyer's bottom tower oh, 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 scouter. Keep the scouter. He might have cast all right. Oh, 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 he wants to in flame. Dyer's oh, but he didn't see him. KP doesn't know. Oh, and now it's oh, always revealed. Easy push. Oh, first we'll scout off who. Oh, that's a nice. Play on the bottom right to discourage newbie's pursuit here. Well, they gotta hold a super, but he's a little off move to the park. And now on the run, the epicenter. Right? The problem is the super's back. The solo comes a bit, but they just can't go down. The follow up is down. He stays a lot. Mode A. Tearing them apart. The back line's beating out the burrow. Still in this thing. Very low. Really go either way. And they able to get out of there with the blade now. Back to safety. You don't have the blood rage. I got going uh, in. It's gonna rip it. Though, he's fine. Casual 405. They're gonna cut him off at the pass, but the vision isn't there. Up the hill. Now they find Super instead. He turns his back. He wants to run. Still a healthy plus 11 armor. They burrow through, but the blood rage protects him again. The evil sorcery. In the bottomless pit. And then the flame joy. Do we call it the petroleum, right? <laughs> you're, just, you're just slathering Vaseline all over the floor. Who just sell bristle back? I think it'll probably lose. I don't know. He doesn't have the inventory. Turns out bristleback's pretty good. And they can't approach the back line at all. The blood right is incredibly good at zoning out the pinup. Turns out Bristolback's pretty good, period. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Thanks, Luffy. Okay, Bloodseeker has foregone his first two choices and yep. instead going for the SN1. I think if he wanted to be at the run at people's I think the SN1 is just straight up better with the shadow. Especially if you don't have a particular target you want in Silver Edge. I, feel like I, I think I've seen like six or seven of the get games in the last month, and this is the first one where he's able to actually stay alive and fight and even out. Effectively, so I think that enables that further. I think BKB is also another very strong choice if you're just running at people. Yes, there's a lot of like, physical damage, but the fact that he doesn't have to worry about Burrow Strike or Slithering Crush is. Pretty important. Did get a glimpse of Mr. Faith here. Tanking the gank, eating the fissure, Afu bringing the totem. And Monet collecting the kill. Nice little takedown. Meanwhile, up top, they found the little man. On your guard too. Sad. LFY has actually done a pretty good job at Inflame not dying lately. Like, he had six deaths in the first 10 minutes, 12 minutes, and he's only had one since. Because he hasn't joined any fight since you were just. Hey, he next defended to the, the mid tier two. Oh, I mean, right, he okay. was a stalwart defense, a one man army. He was like, I'm kind of the fight by pressing my O, but not really. The downside is he's not getting to take advantage of the blood rage. Both seekers never there to give it to him. It's a little risky giving him blood rage because he just dies so quickly. That was a very long TP if they had zero ward up there. But very unlikely that they would, considering the position the LFY or I think SECC that was the fine gamble. Net worth only 1,000. The majority of newbies' net worth, however, is going to be pulled into defensive items. Four step coming out soon for Sink. KB coming out soon. From Fire, Ace Petroleum. No, lightning, petroleum. lightning, Ice, and Petroleum. That just means even more flames. Okay, in flame, are you gonna be able to scout out this observer ward? Oh, no. That sentry misses. Now it's on you. 
in flame. Throw that bolt out. Scout out. Has he been throwing bolts? I haven't seen a lot of. We have not seen the just casual bolt log. Okay. About to do it. Now, but. Yeah. No, just runs right by it. Gives up the gank as well that he is running from. The Zeus salt comes through and. Meanwhile, one in the space to take the rush. KP. That was a very fast amp call, wasn't it? Super with the loop silver to amplify as well as oh, sorry, corrosive phase. Yeah, I'll tell you on the Zeus. So. To wait. Just like kind of here. The way to go, man. Do Nimbus blood right? It's a no fly zone. No fly zone. Then it's also it also cancels TP and people get left the when they split push, which is a big deal. If you can't split push. You're in a lot of trouble unless you BKB TP, I suppose. But and you were saying the the rupture Nimbus combo. Yeah. What do you Bro. do? Stay there, you die, you run, you die. BKB TP? BKB TP. Or be so tanky that you can't beat it, but I don't really think it is. Or even close to that. Base. That That's a dream. You just blade mail and just run around. During <laughs> rupture. Run around in Nimbus? I don't know. I don't, I don't know, know if you know could tank all of that. How does the damage reflect work on Nimbus? Does it reflect like the Nimbus or does it reflect like the Zeus? I don't know. I don't know. I'll be too Nimbus. It's weird. Some some things do, some things don't. Like talking about reflexive ward, death pro. Uh, we're talking reflexive ward, but I don't know. Oh, here it goes. Hot ground siege. She's in Bristleback's inventory. The thing about Bloodseeker Bristle is it turns him into a, a very good tower hitter when you can actually blood range him. Because usually they just ignore the Bristleback, but it's very hard to ignore someone doing. Here comes the wrap damage. around though. Newbie looking for the big flank play. They've got an opening here for KP. He gets in. Starts it off right away, the quad bolt comes through, they will drop fast here, the Lotus Orb came out to try and protect DDC, turn this fight, but another follow-up to Hero Burrow leaves them really with only the cores, they're gonna buy back now, uh, down an Ancient Apparition, meanwhile Newbie are shrining up, looking for round two, Monet trying to heal himself, and he will do so, the cores are very durable for now, Zeus stays alive. And now they go in, revving up the epicenter, just, you know, decent damage, good familiar stunt, preventing LFI from having an easy retreat, and Monet might just lose his Aegis here. Indeed, it will pop. BKB not yet complete, close to it in the stash. Siege is over, folks. Fantastic defense of the high ground by Newbie. They had, they had an observer over on the left, so they thought they were safe. That's why they were positioned on the north side instead of in the trees. So they had that false sense of security. Can they just go high ground now, though? There's no epicenter. There's no quapple. Quapple is also dead. And Super's on the move. There goes oh, the yeah. enchant. Totem that crushes split second late from KP. LFY might just be breaking the base, cracking open this newbie egg and looking for the clean 2-0. The lane of Rax will be huge. Do have to beware the deadly weaver flank. The award is going to scout him, trying to weasel his way around, cut this wave. I do like the way Moogie's playing, but... Oh, he's, he's right walking the right into their clutches. The Echo's available. Are they going to jump him? Shaker starts it off, gets the Fissure follow-up with the Enchant Totem. They bring him down. No buyback on the Weaver. Out for 50. And now S-Triple-C standing in the midst of a Bristle and an Ancient Apparition, not liking the feeling too much. Death to the Quills. No buyback. Super still at full speed. Split. He's still keep moving and pounding away with that mace. And now why? Steaming all the way right through, newbie. 2-0. And with some interesting trap as well. I will save the best playoff. The games are gone. Yeah. Keep it made on their spare. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. 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 Destroyed this studio. Like, they, they could not approach ever. Like, they had the blood plus vision of every single top, top people. And on top of that, the uh, ice, icy vortex, I think, with the blood right, it makes it very hard to maneuver around the fight. They couldn't actually ever get in there. Every time they would try and go in, they would just lose one, two heroes immediately off the bat. And Bloodseeker is like, oh, hey. hey.